One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people are going to make is going all in when they haven't mentally prepared themselves to go all in. For most people, they might be able to last a few days, maybe even a few weeks on sheer willpower, but eventually willpower will give up and so will you and you will end up falling off the diet. So rather than going all in, for most people it would be beneficial to Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another Carnivore Q&A. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today's question comes from a Carnivore Diet for Beginners group on Facebook where a member had recently asked, I haven't had such a hard time giving up blatant carbs, but I'm really struggling to cut out Diet Coke. I could really use some encouragement from anyone who has successfully kicked a Diet Coke addiction. Right now, I'm not convinced that it can be done. Please convince me that I'm wrong. Well, when it comes to diet and exercise, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people are going to make is going all in when they haven't mentally prepared themselves to go all in. For most people, they might be able to last a few days, maybe even a few weeks on sheer willpower, but eventually willpower will give up and so will you and you will end up falling off the diet. So rather than going all in, for most people, it would be beneficial to focus on individual habits and gradually ease into it, which is why I've come up with this chart right over here. One of the things that I like to do in my coaching practice for most people is I like to focus on one habit at a time. So every single month, I'll pick one habit for that person to focus on. So let's say that your nutrition, and when I say nutrition, I'm referring specifically to the food that you are consuming. If that is on point and the only real thing that you need to work on is the beverages that you are consuming, then rather than overhauling your entire diet, you can ease into it by following this and gradually easing into it. So let's say the first month. Don't even worry about what you're drinking. Just stick to eating the foods that you're eating. And then after the first month, if you are able to consume all of those foods without issue, then go ahead and stick to your regular soda for that first month. Then in the second month, what you could do is drop it down and cut it in half. You could do half regular soda and then half diet soda. This may not seem like a huge change, but it's going to make a big difference because your average can of soda is going to have about 30 grams worth of sugar. So if you are somebody who's consuming anywhere from 6 to 12 cans of regular soda, you are going to be eliminating anywhere from 90 to 180 grams of sugar every single day just by cutting it down in half. So that's going to be making a big difference. Then in the third month, once you've started to build up that habit a little bit more, then you could switch to diet soda as your main source of beverage. Once you've done that, in the fourth month, you can move on to flavored carbonated water. You could either get carbonated water and flavor it yourself by putting in a little bit of lemon or lime, or it could use one of those types of drops that you put into the water to flavor it. Then, once you've done that for a month, in the fifth month, you could do flavored flat water. So this one over here, it's not carbonated. We're getting a little bit closer to just plain water. And then finally, in the sixth month, you have graduated and you are ready to drink regular plain flat water. But that is one way that you could go about introducing water into your actual diet diet without having to completely overhaul your diet all at once. You don't need to go all in all at once because chances are you are eventually going to fall off of it and you're going to go back to doing what you were doing in the past. So rather than going all in all at once, try focusing on one habit at a time. And this is just a little example of what you could do. You could play with this around a little bit. If you are somebody with a severe pop addiction, then this may take you a year to complete and not six months. If you are somebody who can tolerate habits a little bit sooner, you may even be able to get down to it in three months. But overall, you want to ease yourself in. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys have any questions at all with regard to anything that I discussed today, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so I can help you guys out. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to keep making these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as I'm going to be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.